Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to see how to deal with the problem of repeated words in our translations. Okay, so we are back in Unreal Engine. Let's see how this problem pops up and how to solve it. In the translation editor, we can see that some terms like main menu or quit are repeated twice. So we need to deal with that problem. It is quite easy. That's why string tables exist. So let's go ahead and create one and see how they are used. Let's go to the content browser or the content drawer and we are going to create the string table. Let's do it for now in the localization folder. We will move it later because we are not looking for um, text terms here, but let's do it right now. If we go to miscellaneous, we have a string tables right there. So we go ahead and click on it and give it a name. In this case, we are going to name it common words or common terms from the UI. So once we have this, we can go ahead and open it up. And if we see the place where the key input box is, there we are going to establish the key that identifies the string that we want to translate. So this is only an identifier. Let's call it quit because it identifies quit uh, the quit word. And let's go ahead and input the source string, which in this case is quit. We go ahead and click on add or on enter and we can go ahead and see in the UI where this term is used. So we will go to the widget blueprints and we will look for this uh, term and substitute it by the string table term. In this case, we are going to the main menu and the widget blueprint. So the blueprint on the left, we go ahead and open it up, go to the quit button with the quit text and look for a string table. We can see that we have our string table there and we can choose the key that we have created earlier. So that will link that text to the string table text. We now need to find the other blueprint in which we have the quit and look for that quit and also link it to the same string table term. Remember that the post menu is in the UI folder, but you can look for types of um, objects that you want, like for example, the widget blueprint, and you can go ahead and look for that uh, text, link it to the string table. Since we only have one key, it already works. So we choose quit. You can unlink if you want to go back to the common text instead of the string table text, you can do so. But we don't want to do that right now. We want to use the string table because we don't want repeated words. We can compile and save like always. And we can go ahead and gather text again in the localization dashboard. We will see how the word count goes down. Right now, remember that, that we are looking for text only in the UI folders. So right now it uh, went down to words. We are not going to find the, the quit word because it's in the other folder. So let's just move the string table from localization to the UI folder so we can find it. It is also more handy because it makes a lot more sense to have the um, string table from the UI in the UI folder, I guess. So we are going to move it and gather test again. And we will see how it um, now only goes down one word, which is the correct uh, amount. And now if we open up the translation editor, we are going to find the quit in the last term. 
There it is. Let's go ahead and translate it by salir, which is quit in Spanish. Right now we have already translated the text. We can also take a look at the translation count, clicking on count words. And also when it is done, we will see it go up because we have translated one more, wo one more word and we can click on compile text and we can go ahead and see how this looks in the interface. Let's go ahead and use the quick preview in the in both of the blueprints to take a look at how, how it looks when you translate it. We activate the quick preview and we can see that it says Salir now. And the same will happen for the pause menu. We can go ahead and open up the widget blueprint, go to Salir, and we already see that it is translated. But we have, have not translated the same word twice, which is what we want. So if we wanted to do it for another word, so we can see another example of how it works, let's go ahead and open up, back up the string table. Let's go to UI, common terms UI. We input another key, in this case, main menu. The source string is main space menu. In this, ca in this case, we have two words instead of one. We click on add as always, and we are just making sure that it is written correctly. We click on enter or add. We can go ahead and save the string table and we can gather text again and link in the UI both of the, of the words. So let's go ahead and go to the main menu and link that to the, to the word. We need to disable the quick preview to be able to do that. We link, link it to the string table. We choose instead of quit main menu, which is the correct key the correct identifier. Let's do the same thing for the pause menu. We link again to main menu. Perfect. We can now go ahead, compile, save, and we can go back to the, to the editor. Gather text again. Translate it again in the translation editor. We are now going to see it only once, main menu, only one time. We go ahead and input the translation, menu principal in, in Spanish. We can go ahead and again compile in the localization dashboard. Pretty easy and straightforward. We can count the words to see that they have dropped by the correct amount. Perfect. We now have two more words translated. Remember, main and menu, menu principal. We can go ahead and compile. And when we go back to the widget blueprints, we are going to see that things are already translated for us in both places. We see a small issue, which is that I made a mistake and forgot the space in the middle but that should be no problem. We can go back to the translation editor, to the completed section, and change it back up again. So let's go ahead and input that space in the middle that I forgot. When we are done with this, we can go back to the localization dashboard and compile again, and that will make it available for the engine, the new translation, and if we go back to the widget blueprint. We can go ahead and disable and enable again the quick preview and you can see that it is working as intended in both menus. You can see the main menu and the pause menu with the correct uh, menu principal string. So that's it for this video. I hope you have liked it. If this is the case, go ahead, like and subscribe. We will see each other in the next videos.